Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you to Jacto Studios for the game key. We're going to be taking a look at Night of the Dead version 1.0. It goes for $29.99 USD. For more info, check the video description below. Not sure why it says spacebar. We're using gamepad. Somehow we got ejected into this dark room. And no dialogue yet. Kind of looks like Kenny Omega. <laughs> That's a AEW wrestler for those who don't know. Okay, so there's a walkie. I guess they want us to get the walkie talkie. Look around. I got recommended this game because we play State of Decay every week. They figured it would probably be something I'd like and they're not wrong. All right, so one thing you kind of have to wrap your head around is how they navigate the inventory. So here, it's going to be take all is going to be right on the D-pad. And then to back out, it's going to be left on the D-pad. Again, transferring back and forth. It's only easier for me to figure it out because I've already played this game a little bit. Very fun. Very fun. Uh, there's a lot of action, a lot of base building, tower defense. But you can change a lot of the settings too. Where if you don't want tower defense, you could disable the tower defense part. And you could just wander. Like, I personally like exploring. So if you just want to explore without having to worry about having, like, waves and hordes every night. And I think even during the day, you can disable that. Or at least, if anything, you could always toggle it until you have a decent base that you can defend. And that's pretty much how I would probably go about it. This is not a fresh human meat store, Mr. Zombie. I'm busy. So, shuffle off to another stall. A person? Yep. Are you currently in the underground capsule room on Andorna Island? I, I guess. Sleep capsules can sometimes cause trouble. I'm Dr. Veronica Grimes. I'm researching a zombie cure. Is there even power in the bunker now? Sort of. Find a light immediately. I see a light on. And secure the line of sight. Uh, flashlight. What are the odds? And it would be on too. Alright, so to turn the light on, X. So it's a hip light, kind of like Dragon's Dogma. Open the door. And exit the capsule room. I need your help with the zombie. Now it says A. You've just emerged from the stasis capsule, so you're probably wandering around without any clothes. No, oh, well. Find something to wear and get dressed. And we played Breath of the Wild, so we're kind of used to being half naked. All right, let's equip old clothes, so we have to go to inventory. And then here. Right analog stick. Select. And then A, A for all of them. And then remember, left D-pad. Now we have our generic clothes. Please find the remaining mutant substance on Andorna Island. That material will be invaluable in my research for a zombie cure. Succeed, and I'll send a helicopter for your rescue. Make sure to record important things in your journal. Why is the journal so important? Oh, we already figured that out. <laughs> we did it by accident. Is there anything in here? Find. What is in here? A bone. Two bones. We got a bone to pick. See, I'm used to pressing B. To back out of menus. So, even someone who's played this still has to kind of remember half the time. A little wonky, but you get used to it. Okay, journal. The zombie mutation first occurred on Endorna. People who escaped from the island at the time caused the world to be engulfed in zombie mutations. I'm starting to think that that mutant substance I was researching might have triggered zombie mutation. Uh, is there anything there? Nothing there. Nothing here. 
bunch of things in my way. Okay, so it's kind of like a whitish gray that it highlights. All right, more. This was for painkillers, by the way. Energy bar, painkillers. Um, let's back out. Now, why I think this game could be a little easier when it comes to controls on keyboard because you have all like your shortcuts and whatnot. A little easier to navigate. So we have to check the journal. Okay, checking it. Check, 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 check. Open the yellow door. And we're good. The bunk you're in is the research facility where the new humanity project was conducted. Check if there's still someone in the bunker who can help you find the mutant substance. Uh, anything over here? Nothing. Uh, we can't go down there. So this is the bunker? Oh, hello, friend. Are you really human? I am. Finding me in a place like this, you're lucky. You or me? I'm Walter Wagner. If you're looking for the mutant substance, I can help you. In exchange, you need to secure a spot for me on the escape helicopter from Andorna Island. It's a good deal, right? I've stored the mutant substance at the research center on the surface. You go to the surface first through the bunker door. I'll follow once it's safe. Wimp, you're a security guard. Don't you have like a gun or something? Uh, B? Yeah, we already figured that out. Uh oh. Our first Zed. Oh, just drop kicked him. Are you trying to survive here too? Yes. Let's survive together. We're a team now. We are a team. We should head to the research center that Walter mentioned. Show me your skills and determination. I hope you won't disappoint. Uh, there we go. Nice morale booster there. Insult me the same time that you're trying to cheer me up. We are leaving. You'll need to survive before you even think about finding the mutant substance. Understood? I've assembled the best team of experts for assistance. Learn by carefully following their instructions. Advancing the main story will unlock buildings as rewards. Nice to meet you. My name is Sierra Wilder, a survival expert. From now on, I'll share all the survival knowledge I know with you. Let's take it easy. So we could change camera angles. Be first person. How about picking up noticeable small stones in the forest? Already done that. Uh, I guess they want us to do them now, though. How many do we need? Now it's time to use that small stone to make a stone knife. Go to handmade, then stone knife. And craft. Uh, here, I'm going to do my mouse. Use my mouse. Uh, because the knife. Put a three. Now, shall we gather some branches and leaves? This outfit really cuts down on my chin. Alright, so what I did there at the bottom to select number three, it's a lot easier to do with the keyboard, obviously. You could just hit the number three. But with gamepad, you hit A, and then up is your scroll. And then when you're on the item that you want, I think you, what, you stop? Yeah. So you get to the spot and then you press A. Yeah. 
Now he's just using his hand. He's such a savage. Thought we had the stone knife handy. As the next step, we'll be crafting other tools necessary for survival. Okay. Now they want us to do woodcutter's axe. We're going to craft a woodcutter's axe. Do we have... Alright, we need to get a branch. That's why it's still gray. Uh, what happened to our inventory? Oh, because we... Yeah, we had B. That's going to happen a lot until you get used to it. Uh, we got two branches, so now we can actually craft it. And now it's actually highlighted. Uh, craft. Now let's add this. Actually, let's press B. Where does it go? So it adds it there. Add it on top. Huh, did we just lose the stone knife now? I think we just lost the stone knife. Oh, you know what it did? We didn't lose it. Now it's in our inventory. It's in our hand. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna harvest some some stone. Oh, you know what we did? We jumped the gun, didn't we? We did the pickaxe. What we needed to do is a woodcutter. Not there. Trees are truly vital resources. Oh, that's a big hit. Are we chopping this one down? There we go. Wow. Oh, is this gonna fall on us? Let's pick on easier ones. <laughs> not, not like a 20 foot tree. Oh, yeah, branches. We got vines. We got leaves. We got four logs out of that one. So we destroy three trees. Technically, I think we've already done three trees. This will be four. Using the method you've just learned, try crafting a pickaxe. Uh, we already did that. But I guess the game doesn't register that we've already done it, so we're going to have to do it again. Which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Feels rewarding to work hard, doesn't it? Oh, quiet. Now, let's use our crafted pickaxe to gather stones and minerals. So let's get some stone. Here we go. Got that one. And that was a boulder, which we're getting limestone from. All right, another one, stone, small stone and some limestone. Go here. I do like that you can actually see the chunks that break off. I don't think it matters, maybe, having to move around. I just like moving around because it feels like you're actually breaking it apart. So we got one iron, one iron ore, and two boulders.
All right, so that's all the boulders. Got that bush. Over here, see if this is the final boulder. And you gotta complete it too, it's not just taking chunks off. Oh, you know what? I read it wrong. Or that we need. Uh, do we have anything? Anything around here? I feel like this is procedurally generated. This is a very different layout than what I've played before. Like the, the house and everything was to the left. And there was not a whole lot on the right. The hell was that? All right, that was that war. Hey, ever wake up on a zombie island and feel like you're left alone? Yeah. I'm Jamal Price, the mechanic. So let's kick things off with that. All right, mechanic. So we're gonna do a workbench. Yeah, I could have sworn all that was over here, which is kind of cool. I mean, maybe they changed the biomes, procedurally generated, or. There's like a list of them that change. It is kind of nice to see that the layout could change on you. So we're going to go build. And then production. Workbench. Right trigger to build. Doesn't matter. And then build it. Hold it. Long press and that'll do it. Crafting bench is pretty handy, you know. Okay. And uh, apparently we put it backwards. Uh, so what are we gonna craft? Craft a pipe. And again, you don't want to get too far ahead. Otherwise, you'll be duplicating items. And we don't want to do that. We already did that by accident with pickaxe. I'm more of an up close and personal kind of guy, but you looks like you could use some long range firepower. Well, that's a dick thing to say. <laughs> so, I guess now we're going to craft a bow, which I just did with a mouse. It's really easy to click it and then select that. And there's a reason why I put the bow first. I'll get to that. You can't just have a bow and no arrows, right? Uh, is it handmade? Yeah. Equip that bow of yours and shoot an arrow towards our lovely crafting bench. Uh, where do we put the bow or the? Automatically just selected. So the reason why I put the bow first is in case you're using a bow and you want to switch quickly with the gamepad, the next item is going to be your melee. That's why. Now you long press the right trigger and you shoot. But you could also pick them up too, which is nice. Don't just leave that crafting bench behind. That's a waste of good resources. Okay, so we have to make a claw hammer. Crafting a claw hammer. Okay, so that's not there. So, handmade. Yep. Put that there at the bottom. And I think we are set. 
There's a bunch you can do with it. Let's go here. We're going to repair first. The none of new resources. What do we need? Branches? Let's uh let's take down a tree. In first person. Oh, that's a little dizzy. I think it works better. Third person. Did we get we have a log, we got branches, and we got vines. Sweet. Now we got what we needed. And I do like that it says under repair, it says branch one, and we have two. Equip that hammer and head over to the crafting bench to start the dismantling. All right, so you just have to hit the left on the D-pad, and it's just gonna give you time to, I guess, question life. Up, soldier. I am Captain Axton Hawkins. Obey my commands and learn the skills to survive on the battlefield. Okay, that's a dodge. That's a kick. Where are the Zeds at? Where are you at? Show your face. Uh, let's break. Get materials. Almost everything in this game is like breakable in that sense. I do. I wish the highlighting thing was maybe a little more dramatic, but I mean, it is nice. You guys see, look, you could break that, but we don't have a wrench. Probably craft one, though. I don't want to craft one if the game forces you later on, because you just have two of them, like we have two pickaxes. Let's see if we get any gas. Uh, we do. Six, or uh, excuse me, nine. We have nine cans of gas. We have really heavy pockets right now. <laughs> Alright, those are not breakable. So I'm assuming the Zeds are in the in the house. And we can use this little Vespa to get out of here. Let's do what I was saying earlier. Let's switch to a bow. I see him in the window. Okay, that's why you switched to secondary. Oh, kicked him right in the nuts. <laughs> that was a lethal kick. Stabbing attacks are effective in narrow combat areas like inside buildings. Yeah, there's our arrow. Sweet. It seems you broke the glass. Shield, soldier. We got a shield, apparently. Yeah, I, I do like this. This has changed because this building was not broken like this before. And it was on the left side of the the bunker opening. I really like that this apparently changes. Oh, we just did it again, didn't we? Uh, let's... Where's the pipe at? That was the pipe, right? We put it in our hand. Um, check this out. Let's see what it's in here. Let's see what scrap materials we get. Really wish those animations were a little faster. Oh, brass knuckles. And we got another woodcutter. Baseball bat. Fancy. Let's put the bat. Slot number two. Hit some home runs now. Uh, well, what does it want us to do? So aim and stab. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! Greetings. At last we meet. The name's Gilbert Foster. 
How about you start by finding the right spot and open the construction menu to lay down that foundation? See if we can nail this guy. Oh, kill shot. Well, it seems you're fairly prepared now. Wow. With this level of readiness, you stand a fighting chance while searching for the mutant substance. Let's move to the research center Walter mentioned. Open the map to check your location and start moving. Open the map to check the location. All right, guys. Well, this was Night of the Dead. And it is a 1.0. Thank you to Jacto Studios for the game key. This game currently runs $29.99 USD. For more info, check the video description below. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later.